Yo, everybody, how's it going? Um, I am going to do a mod tutorial later in this video, but first I just want to talk about some things. It's my first video on this channel, really. The first one I posted was just a Dungeon POZ from 2024. But this is going to be a mod tutorial because I know the forging update just came out. And what a lot of people don't have set up is their mods folder. 1.21.4 and I have been messing with it for a little bit now and I found some mods and I want to share them with everybody because I don't think anyone else has any mods like I saw some youtubers they were already just loading up vanilla 1.20.4 so I'm sure to help everybody else out with that um, but yeah, let me talk about some things real quick. Um, oh wow, I just got two legendaries and they're both duplicates. Okay. Um, I will be making more videos about like my profile. I am Iron Man. Uh, yeah, I am Iron Man. And there's there's a lot of stuff I still have to do in this game, and I love playing this game, so I want to make some videos on it. I'm trying to get Zoro right now, actually. But if y'all like this video, if you want me to continue making more tutorials, which I can, I've been playing this game for a little while, that is completely okay. I will gladly do that. But if y'all also want to see me post more videos on this profile of me actually playing and progressing, I'd love to do that also. I'm here pretty much every day. Yeah, pretty much every day. And I love playing this game. So yeah, let's go get into the mod tutorial real quick. Alright, first thing I want to do is just start off by saying this. Um, you all should definitely look at the mods yourself to figure out what you want. But if you just want something quick, just for the forging update, you want to try it out. Um, I have will be linking my config in my Discord. I will have that below, so if you want to see that, just go check that out. But yeah, definitely look at all these mods yourself. But anyways, the first mod that we'll be looking at is Skyblocker. Skyblocker is like the main mod for Skyblock. It has all the quality of life. It's like, if y'all played on Forge, it's like NEU, kind of, a little bit. Uh, it's like Sky Tills, and it's like Skyblock add-ons, pretty much. It's like everything you'd ever need in this game. Um, I think some of the main things... Are definitely like these the helpers, dungeons, uh, Croesus helper, all the solvers and stuff are pretty good. A little bit of everything, really. You should go through that yourself because it's a lot. And then we also have Aaron's mod. Aaron's mod is it's kind of cosmetic. Um, we have a few overlays here. The scorper doesn't really do much. The shadow text. Uh, it has rainbow enchants. Um, somewhere. It has it somewhere. You all can look for it. It has it somewhere in here. It also has M7 mods. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there it is. M7 mods, we got a few few dungeon things, not really anything really big. But the big thing is the item model, and it's what I have here if you want to copy all this. It's what I have right here. You can see my weapon. It's what I like. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. And then we have Firmament. Firmament, it has a lot of things. Um, obviously, the Fairy Souls, a few fixes if you want, Auto Sprint if you want. Um, party commands, just a few things, not really a lot. Quick commands, so you can join, like, dungeon floors, master mode, Hoodra, all that. It also has price data, which is, like, one of the big things. Um, this item hotkey is just for Bizarre AH, which is weird. Oh, you can hover it over it. Okay, that's pretty cool. But it also has slot locking and binding, so useful for dungeons. Like, I have, like, if I just shift-click this... 
You can go like this if you want. Um, we also have the inventory buttons, which are really big. I will save my preset and have it in my Discord server also. But, I mean, this is like, it's not really anything. You do have to put in like the Minecraft ID and it doesn't pre-fill anything, which I don't really like, but it's not, it's not the worst. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it has the storage overlay too, which is really good. So you'll have all this, you can have this storage just like any of you. Very good, very good. A few mining quality of life things. I like this. The highlight completed commissions makes it just so much easier. You can activate this if you want. A lot of other mods have it. This isn't really accurate. And the waypoints are, I don't really know what they're for. But it also has event features. That's really it for this. And then I haven't seen this one really at all. Noba add-ons, it's really good. You can have keybinds, like, it's like Skytils, pretty much. You can have keybinds, chat notifications. Um, I use the Ether Warp overlay, which you can actually, like, customize the, the color for on, like, one of the other mods. I don't know which one it is. Customize the color on that one. Um, you got a few of these rendering tweaks, so you can hide the lightning, broken heart, and air bubbles. But, not much there. Um, the item pickup log is it's just like the skywalk add-ons one it's really good i like it a lot uh you got jamma tool tips which you can customize if you want but i like the other ones and it also has a few events this one is good for the eggs slayers you can look through that you can customize this however you like Wayside Mineshaft is one of the best mods in this because no other thing has Wayside Mineshaft like customization, so that's really good. And dungeons, you can highlight starred mobs, definitely really good. You can change this to outline filled or filled outline. I like filled outline, but that's just personal preference. And it also has Simon Says Timer if you really care about that. And then just a rift timer if you want. Copy chat. This is why I have it on a controller home. So I'll just use. And then oh, you can use that if you want. I don't use that. But that's it for that one. And then roughly enough items is like it's it's the NEU search bar. So you can search up like you know Hyperion. And there it is, and it'll also show you everything else as you search up, you know, weather, storm, anything like that. Um, ooh, next mod, Skyblock Tweets, you just do SBT. And then this is really good. Uh, I like the HUD. If you want to use any of this, I use it for my speed. And, uh, oh, and it has a time thing, which I like. Fixing the time so I don't have to you know, swap out a bit. Um, but yeah, that, that's really good. And then this mining hood for your commissions and stuff. I really like it. It's it's probably the best one, honestly. So I recommend trying that out. And then the next mod that we have is Cookies mod. This one's really good. I use the scrollable tooltips. You can also use the party commands if you like. I think there's a few more here. Oh yeah, downtime command if you want to use that. Um, I think these, I don't think anyone uses that anymore. Mineshaft, you can use it for this. Um, puzzler solvers, uh, you can add a gemstone message when you get a glossy, I guess. And a few other mineshaft helpers. Farming, farming. This is really, really good. I can't showcase it all, but I'm pretty sure. 
like when you go to your garden. I think it's the thing. So you go to the plot that has the pests. And I think it's the one that highlights them. I'm not really sure. But if you also hold this, it should show you. It used to show you what plots had pests on them and TV to them, but I guess not. But yeah, anyways, that's for farming. And then I I like the dungeon mod. This one is the best dungeon mod. You can rotate the or you can like edit the map and it's really good. Oh you can't see it here. I have it right here. It resets for some reason. I don't know why. But it's the best customizable map. And it has terminal solvers, terminal solvers. So all of that stuff. Their solvers aren't really the best, but like no custom GUI or something like that. But it's viable. A lot of spirit lead customizations, um, puzzle solvers. These are really good, by the way. And the water board, definitely the best one. Um, and class colors. And just a few extra stuff if you even care about this. But yeah, all of my stuff will be linked into the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check out everything. Copy my config if you want. But yeah. That's it for this video.